Do you know what pulmonary hypertension is? Well, let's break it down. The term pulmonary refers to your lungs while hypertension is the medical name for high blood pressure. So, pulmonary hypertension is essentially high blood pressure that occurs in the arteries of the lungs. But why is this a problem, you might ask? Well, this increased pressure makes it more difficult for your heart to pump blood through the lungs, creating a strain on this vital organ. Over time, this strain can cause the heart to weaken and potentially fail. Yes, you heard it right. This condition is not just about high blood pressure in a part of your body. It's a serious health issue that can lead to heart failure if not managed properly. So, in a nutshell, pulmonary hypertension is high blood pressure in the lungs that can potentially lead to heart failure. And in the next scenes, we will delve deeper into the causes, diagnosis, and treatment strategies for this condition. Ever wondered what triggers pulmonary hypertension? This condition can be sparked by a variety of factors, both primary and secondary. Primary causes are often linked to one's genetic makeup or certain medical conditions. For instance, if you have a family history of pulmonary hypertension, you might be more susceptible. Certain diseases such as connective tissue disorders or heart diseases can also increase the risk. Now let's talk about secondary causes. These are external factors that might not directly cause pulmonary hypertension, but can certainly exacerbate it. Recreational drug use, such as cocaine or methamphetamines, can cause significant damage to your lungs. Even living at high altitudes, where the air is thinner, can put extra strain on your heart and lungs, potentially leading to pulmonary hypertension. So, understanding these causes is a crucial first step towards prevention and management. Knowledge equips us to make informed lifestyle choices and seek appropriate medical attention when necessary. Remember, knowing these triggers can help in prevention and better management of pulmonary hypertension. How do doctors diagnose pulmonary hypertension? Well, the diagnostic process is comprehensive and involves several steps. Initially, doctors conduct a thorough physical examination to check for any signs that might hint towards this condition. Subsequently, they may use a chest X-ray to look for any abnormalities in the heart or lungs. An echocardiogram, which uses sound waves to create pictures of the heart's chambers and valves, provides further insight into the heart's function and the pressure in the pulmonary arteries. However, the gold standard for diagnosing pulmonary hypertension is right heart catheterization. This procedure involves threading a thin tube called a catheter through a vein and into the right side of your heart and the pulmonary artery. This allows for direct measurement of the blood pressure in the pulmonary arteries and heart chambers. Despite the complexity of these procedures, remember that early diagnosis is key in managing pulmonary hypertension effectively. So, how do we treat pulmonary hypertension? Well, treating pulmonary hypertension is all about managing the condition and improving the quality of life for those who have it. This can be achieved through a combination of medications, lifestyle changes, and in severe cases, surgery. Medications are typically the first line of defense. These might include vasodilators to widen the blood vessels, endothelin receptor antagonists to reverse the effects of endothelin, a substance in the walls of blood vessels that causes them to narrow, or phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors, which help to relax the blood vessels in the lungs. In addition to medication, lifestyle changes can also play a significant role in managing pulmonary hypertension. This might mean maintaining a healthy weight, staying active, and avoiding situations that could put undue stress on the heart, such as high altitudes or excessive physical exertion. And when medications and lifestyle changes aren't enough, surgery may be an option. This could involve a procedure to remove blood clots from the lungs, or in the most severe cases, a lung or heart-lung transplant. But remember, while pulmonary hypertension can be a serious condition, it is treatable with the right approach and medical care. It's all about finding the right treatment plan tailored to the individual's needs and working closely with healthcare providers to manage the condition. With the right treatment plan, pulmonary hypertension can be managed effectively. We hope you found this information about pulmonary hypertension valuable. If so, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button Give us a thumbs up and share this video with others. We're here to help demystify complex medical topics. So if there's a question nagging at the back of your mind, or a topic you'd love to see us tackle in a future video, drop us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Stay informed, stay healthy.